All right. Okay, well, since this is being recorded, I will just get started and uh, welcome everyone and thank you for coming to the virtual college exploration for Pennsylvania students sponsored by the Pennsylvania Association for College and Mission Counseling and StriveScan. PACAC is a nonprofit organization comprised of more than 1200 school counselors, college admission counselors, independent education consultants, and other professionals responsible for guiding students through the transition from high school to post-secondary options. Thanks for joining us this evening. A few housekeeping things before we get started. Uh, you can use the Q&A button to ask any questions. Your microphone and camera are off so panelists cannot see you or hear you. And this is just one of many sessions being offered. Uh, for a full list and to see recordings of other sessions, you can go to the website at www.pacac.org that's www.pacac.org. And this session is being recorded and will be available online in about a week. So with that said, I'd like to turn uh, the presentation over to our representative from Arcadia University. Take it away, Kevin. Thank you. Hi, everybody, and good evening. Thanks for taking some time. Um, my name is Kevin McGann. I'm the Associate Director of Undergraduate Admissions at Arcadia University. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and so you can all see the presentation. Um, and again, thank you all for taking time out of your evening to learn a bit more about Arcadia tonight. So Arcadia is a small private liberal arts college. Um, we are right outside of Philadelphia, um, just about 12 miles from Center City, Philadelphia, um, in the Cheltenham Township um, and part of the Glenside community. We have about 2,000 full-time undergraduate students at the university and um, a 12 to 1 student to faculty ratio with an average first year class size of only 14 students. Um, one of the things that is very important to us at Arcadia is offering our students that personal learning experience. Um, so keeping our class size small, um, especially for our first year students, is a key part of that. At Arcadia, the biggest class that we offer on our campus um, tops out most years right around 40 to 45 students. And so the, even our biggest classes are still quite small. Um, and that's in our most popular major, which is biology. But then for the lab section, sections, you know, even that class, we bring it back down into the low 20s. Even though we are a smaller school, we offer over 65 fields of study, um, which include our majors, minors, pre-professional programs, and co-curricular programs. Um, so there's a lot to choose from and lots of ways to be engaged inside of the classroom, as well as offering ton our undergraduates tons of different opportunities for re undergraduate research, whether it be lab research or library research um, in all of our different departments. And a lot, and a lot of hands-on learning experiences, um, from internship opportunities to our fine arts programs um, in art and design, where students are being in the studios and developing their own pieces, and really getting that experience of working as an artist for art and design majors. Of our 65 fields of study, to give you an idea, our five biggest majors currently are biology, art and design is the second largest program. Um, and then it's followed by kind of a mix over from year to year. Um, psychology is very popular, are the programs in our School of Global Business, as well as our Department of Historical and Political Studies, which actually includes a few different majors and things like history, politics, government and law, and our international studies program. Outside of the classroom, our students are extremely active, um, competing in 26 different NCAA athletic programs. We are a division three institution. So for our students, you are 100% a student athlete. Um, the student being part being first. Our teams have been quite competitive and successful over the last five years with a number of conference championships competing in the MAC conference um, and five teams qualifying for NCAA um, championship berths over the last five years as well. Um, outside of athletics, we have offer 60 different, more than 60 different clubs and organizations. Um, student life at Arcadia is very student driven. Um, so it's really easy to get involved and uh, to make an impact on what your experience can be. 
Many of our clubs and organizations um, can or come and go over the years as we see student interest in them. Um, and it's really easy to start a new program on campus if there's something that you've been involved in throughout high school or in your community that we don't offer on campus already. As a liberal arts college, we are primarily a residential college with about 80% of our students living on campus. And we do guarantee housing for all four years for full-time undergraduates. Um, that could be in our traditional residence halls, um, our national historical landmark, Gray Towers Castle, on um, the third floor of that building is a residence hall for a small group of first year students. And then our upperclassmen are primarily living in our Oak Summit apartments, which is much more independent style living and gives our students that feeling of feeling like you're a little bit on your own, but having all of the campus resources right at your fingertips. Uh, one of the things that we really like to think about Arcadia is that it is going to be your home for the next four years um, as you move through your career at our, the university. And we really benefit from our location being right outside of Philadelphia of having not just our campus community, but the entire greater Philadelphia at, area at our students' fingertips. Um, at Arcadia, it is really easy to find your community within the Arcadia community um, through clubs and organizations, our athletics programs, within your academic department, um, and developing that experience for our students as they move through their four years. We're a very inclusive community, um, developing new programs on a yearly basis to help our students be successful as they move through their four years with us. One of the things we are most well known for at Arcadia is our study abroad programming. Um, right now with a global pandemic happening and travel restrictions um, being in place for pretty much most of the globe, it's a strange thing to talk about study abroad, but at Arcadia, we don't feel that global means you have to, have to hop on a plane and travel across the globe to Europe or to Australia or South America. Um, you can have a global experience right in the Philadelphia and Glenside community. Um, we have been nationally ranked in study abroad participation for the past 10 years. Um, nine of those 10 years, we've actually been ranked first in the nation. And it's not a, actually a requirement for our students to study abroad when they're at Arcadia, but because of the number of different programs and options that we offer for students, over three quarters of our graduates use their passport before graduation for the class of 2020. And they earned credits in 39 different countries and everything from week-long experiences to full year-long programs. So there really is something for everybody. Um, and we want study abroad to be accessible, accessible to all of our students. So for our students, all of your financial aid would go abroad with you, and that includes our Kedia-based scholarships and grants, as well as any federal and state aid. And your tuition and room charges stay the same as they are right on our campus in Glenside. So you don't have to worry about your costs jumping up or any changes happening there. For our class of 2019, as they got ready and prepared and left Arcadia after graduation, we saw some really great success for our students being able to start their careers with about 73% of those students um, securing post-graduation um, opportunities for starting their career out. Most important for us is that our students aren't just graduating and taking a job for the sake of taking a job and getting a paycheck. They're finding jobs related to what they've studied at our Acadia with us and really being able to take that first step into their career. We do see about 17% of our students continue on to graduate school, and that includes staying right at Arcadia with us and moving into some of our doctoral and master's pro degree programs, including a few where we offer an assured admission, um, which guarantees our student, our undergraduate graduates, a seat in the master's or a doctoral program as long as they meet certain minimum requirements. And that includes programs like our nationally ranked physical therapy and physician's assistant master's and doctoral programs. For our admissions process at Arcadia, um, we are, use a very holistic admissions review. Um, we work on a rolling admissions program. So our students are hearing back from us within usually three to four weeks of completing their application to Arcadia. Um, we try to keep our application process simple. We know senior year and the college search can be stressful enough as is. We don't wanna add on to that stress for our students. So we just require students to submit their application, their high school transcript, and then at least one letter of recommendation, um, either from your school counselor or one of your academic course teachers. Starting this year, we are a test optional institution. And at Arcadia, test optional means test optional. We are reviewing students who apply without scores for all of the same programs and scholarships that students applying with scores do. 
For students who do apply test optional, we do ask them to submit um, some credential, additional credentials in lieu of their test scores that could be submitting a couple of additional short essays, completing an online or a virtual interview with one an Arcadia, current Arcadia student, um, or submitting a short video. Really, we wanna learn a little bit more about you and why you feel Arcadia will be a good fit for your college career. Two other optional pieces include the application essay and then resume or a list of activities. Those are things that we look at to get a better sense of who are you, why do you like Arcadia? Um, and the resume we're really looking at that is well for our merit scholarship programs. Um, we like to see students who have been active throughout high school, both in their school community and their local home community, um, and to see what are they going to add to the Arcadia experience. For our admissions review, the most important thing to us is your high school transcript. We're looking closely at what kind of courses have you completed from freshman year through what are you taking as a senior, if there's been trends in your grades or some improvement. Um, all of those things are playing a role. We want to make sure that Arcadia is going to be a good fit for you and that will be a good place for you to be able to be successful through your college career. And any students who are interested in our Bachelor of Fine Arts programs in acting or in art and design would have to submit an acting audition or a portfolio review to be accepted into those programs. Those are the only programs at the university that we have a separate admission requirement for. Some other things that you'll hear about as you move through the admissions process at Arcadia, um, and you can find out more about all of these programs right on the website is our co-curricular programs. These are programs that our students are invited to participate in um, based on their application for admission. Some programs have pretty strict requirements like the honors program, um, which is inviting students based off of their application for admission, looking for students who have a strong GPA, ideally have completed some AP coursework. And if your school ranks, um, we would like to see students ranked in the top 10%. The other programs we're looking at students to for an overall picture to see if these programs would be a good fit for you. Um, things like our first year study abroad experience, which is a cohort based program where we send a group of about 50 to 60 first year students to London, England every spring to study at the Arcadia University Center in London. Um, these students are taking Arcadia courses with Arcadia faculty and living and with other Arcadia first year students. So it's a really unique experience program to participate in. Some of other programs that actually just launched this fall for the first time is our College to Career Scholars program, which is run through our Office of Career Education and helps students that are kind of find their way through the college experience and guiding you in a way to find what majors are going to work best for your perspective and your hopeful careers later on. College to Career Scholars actually guarantees our students an internship after the completion of your sophomore year. Um, so typically that summer between your sophomore and junior year. Another program that just launched this year is our Civic Scholars Program, which is designed for students who want to be socially engaged in the commu community, both on campus in Glenside and the greater Philadelphia area. I'm um, working on different social engagement pro programs and making a social impact. Um, this year leading up to the election, they did a lot of drug registration, voter registration drives on campus, really working to get our students engaged in the electoral process, um, and some really unique opportunities for students there to help develop the programs as we move forward with them, um, with them just launching this fall. A couple of other programs is our Gateway to Success program, which is offered for students who meet the Arcadia admission requirements, but there are certain factors that we think you could benefit from some additional support on campus as you make the transition to college life and college academics. And there are social actions, action and justice education fellowship, which is offered for a select group of education majors on campus each year. And that's in collaboration with the Pennsylvania Department of Education um, and offers uh, some really unique scholarship opportunities for students admitted into the program as well. At Arcadia as a private institution, we know our costs are significant when you just look at the tuition and room and board charges. Um, but at Arcadia, 99% of our students are receiving financial aid, scholarships, and or grant aid from Arcadia. And that's in addition to any federal or state aid a student may qualify for. For the class that would be enrolling with us in the fall of 2021, our merit scholarships could be awarded up to $25,000 per year. And when we award our scholarships at Arcadia, we look at it as an award for the work you've accomplished throughout high school. Um, so you can anticipate on keeping that award every year that you're at Arcadia as an undergraduate um, for all four years until you finish your undergraduate studies. 
And to help students and families understand the financial aid process and how to cover your costs, we have personal financial aid counseling available for all of our students. Um, and to help you start getting a picture of what your costs at Arcadia might look like, we offer an online financial aid calculator that takes about five minutes to complete and will give you a range of what types of scholarships and grants you may qualify for at the university. While we do work on a rolling admissions program, we do have a few priority deadlines for students to try to stay within. Um, January 15th is our priority admission deadline to be considered for our merit scholarship program, our distinguished scholarship, and some of our other special programs, um, primarily our honors program and some of our accelerated degree options. March 15th is the priority admission and financial aid deadline for all incoming first year students. We want to make sure you're able to have your application and financial aid paperwork into us by then so we have time to get your application reviewed get you an admissions decision and a financial aid award um, so you have time to make up your mind if arcadia is going to be the right place for you by the may 1st national candidates reply date um, which is when you would need to let us know if arcadia is where you want to be for the upcoming fall as you're moving further into your college search, we do have a few virtual open house events that are taking place this fall. Um, and the next one is actually coming up on November 7th. Um, and that will take place kind of mid afternoon. We have a few other events on coming up in November as well as in December. And we'll be announcing more for the spring semester shortly. And we are hosting some limited in person um, tours and information sessions. It's a way to get to see our campus and get to learn more about the university um, in a safe kind of setting with small groups um, and individual family tours as well. And for students, the best way to start getting an idea of what is life like at Arcadia is to give us a follow on social media, especially on Instagram and Snapchat, where we have some of our current undergraduate students who will be posting and doing takeovers, to talk about their Arcadia experience as they, we move through the academic year. Um, starting this week, we are going to be hosting Major Monday, so you can learn a bit more about some of the different majors at Arcadia from our current students and the experiences they've had, um, and hear about how some of our seniors are working towards their graduation coming up next spring. Great. Thank you all for taking some time to learn a bit more about Arcadia. As you're moving further into your search and want to learn more about us, definitely take a look on the website. Um, you can find out more about upcoming events, learn about all of our academic programs um, and campus life and campus programming, um, both in the classroom and for our clubs and organizations and athletics. Thank you again. Thank you, Kevin. That was You're great. Welcome. Always enjoy that learning more. Quicker than I was, that went way quicker than I was expecting it to. <laughs> uh, so just to wrap up, um, if there's anyone still left, there is a quick survey that will appear when this closes. And uh, there is one more day of sessions coming up. Uh, so if you want to see what's coming up, www.packact.org slash virtual. Thank you very much. Have a good night, Kevin. All right. Thank you. All right.